Previously. Now what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> I like it. Turt Reynolds. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. Soon. So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh... This isn't that hard. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives <laughs> me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, good to know, dear, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. Well, I have a thin mustache. Real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar. Goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. Hmm. Are you a freaking Bond villain? <laughs> I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Steely. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. I'm supposed to find more boards to board up my thing. Oh, here we go. Cinder block, wooden board. Okay. What? That's weird. Yeah, board up my broken window. Too bad you can't board up your broken heart. What? <laughs> Whatever, you dork. Broken heart? What the? Henry, not you, moron. Oh, yeah, right. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like it's anything that Delilah, or not Delilah, it's not anything Julia could have done about it, though, right? I mean, she could I got that dimension. window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and, uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, huh. yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How were those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? <laughs> oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Day nine. Oh, wow. So a week later, basically. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Well, I was. 
<laughs> Hardy har. Ugh, I'm finally paying for all those years of giving my bosses attitude. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me, you know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Day 15. Wow, we're jumping forward now. It's going to get even worse. Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. No. Oh. Interesting. North Is it too much supplies? of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Back up, I guess, where so, we were. So, like, weeks ago. two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Can I stop in the middle? <laughs> I am. Good. I'm glad. A couple of months before I took this job, I <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. 
Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Sex, are you getting real close to her now? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, they're friends, I'm sure. They talk probably a lot every day. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64. Man, they're doing a lot of jumping. Okay. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And... She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny, or something practical, or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? <laughs> so... No ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> so there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Really? I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... What? What could we do? Well... Let me tell you. I don't know about that. I don't. If I were Henry, I would not have done that. I did it just to see what would happen. Going fishing without a license? <clears throat> it's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um,. You know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, 
how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What? The, uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. Ow! Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. We should just get the hell out of here. Oh, it's a two-day hike. You're welcome to do it, but you're gonna catch hell from the service and have to explain yourself. Plus, there's a fire burning across Rose Creek. You hiked through there on the way in. Call someone and tell them to come get me. I'm not going to book a $15,000 helicopter ride for you. I'm not doing it. Okay, we... we can't freak out. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for all of this. You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll head to Wapiti Meadow, but I swear, if this gets worse, you better get on the horn and get us out of here. I'll call around and see if anything weird is happening to anyone else, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. What? I already had that. Did something happen to my save game or something? But I've not been down here before. The trail along the the lake? What the? 
All right, I don't know. Q. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Just to say though, budgets being what they are, did you see my? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been here, been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos in Spanish is profesionales, in it, or and profesionales is Italian. Amigos and profesionales. What the? Okay. Fourth Estate, Richard Sturgeon. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a comfortable, and maybe even enjoy a pool or drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. An emergency landing for after a murder in first class something, a trans American thriller that pulls. Neil off the South City streets and slams him st into a sordid web of politics and high finance and all he finds is murder, deceit, and betrayal. Fourth Estate is new territory for Sturgeon and it's not to be missed. Great and stuff. Mm. I'll just chuck it on the ground. Nobody wants it anyway. There we go. Nothing else? Nope, oh, alright. Uh, yeah, okay. That's, I'm so excited that I got cold cocked. By the way, I was just about to tell Delilah also, and then I got smacked upside the head. Oh, and I can't keep going on here? What the? Okay, that's just using artificial methods to prevent me from going that way. Because why would I not be? Okay, fine. <laughs> Whatever. Jerks. You guys are cheater faces. Go up this way. Wait, what? I'm going down? Now nah, I basically want to go north, so I guess. Down. If this is even the right way, I should check my map. Let's see. But not until next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been number five of my playthrough of Firewatch. I am Zach Sawar. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. It helps a lot. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on social media. The reference is the end of the video. And in the description, we'll show you where you can do that. I will let you know about the latest on my channel, like giveaways when I'm able to afford to do that. I'll give you reminders about live streams every week and so on. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Till then. Peace. Oh, got the crucifix. Forgot to love. What the friggin' Freako Granny? <clears throat> You're finally dead. Screw you, Granny. Screw you. It's okay. Nobody cares about you. That means Axel. I don't know.